hello beautiful people welcome back or welcome to another bangs audio review today got the jazir 61t butterfly for you isn't she gorgeous oh my goodness those face plates are some of the nicest i've ever seen honestly uh if only if only the rest of the experience were that beautiful but anyway, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. I know this is probably not the introduction that most of y'all are expecting. And I apologize. I, I don't mean to disappoint. I know that most people are expecting me to absolutely rave about this set. Including my friend, Svorzevol, who, well, his wife FedExed these to me, like, so I could review them as soon as possible. And that it was so freaking awesome of them to do, you know? Like, I really appreciate that, because everybody had been asking me, and I hadn't had a chance to purchase them yet or approach Jazir uh, for a, a you know review set or anything like that, and um, bang, they're here, you know, two days later, they're, they're in my lap, and I've been listening to them for the past couple of days. So... I think that that's going to be one of the hardest things for me is because I don't want to disappoint my friend who went out of his way to um, get these to me as quickly as possible. And, you know, I can't really say enough about him because he's provided so many sets to me and is responsible in that respect for a lot of the content that you guys have um, well, hopefully been enjoying on the channel. So uh, huge, huge thanks uh, go out to him for, for doing that. And he's a good dude. Uh, and He's a good friend. So, Mike, thank you, buddy. Um, unfortunately for me, these guys just didn't work out. I will get to exactly why, and I will do a little comp with the uh, Slevo SL41 Mark II for y'all as well. Um, because honestly, not a thing wrong with them sonically. Not one thing. But, before we get too far, let's get into unbox and specs, shall we? So, in his rush to get this set to me, um, the sleeve was left behind, so that's okay. Uh, if you guys want to see the sleeve, you can do what I did and use the inner tubes and uh, go see what they look like in person, or what it looks like in person. But this is a flat black box um, with a nice, you know, butterfly decorated. Uh, I'm sure that has something to do with the name of the set. A little piece of protective paper. And then you had your IMs here and here. There is a dust cloth, and there is a plethora of ear tips to choose from, none of which I could use. Uh, this is also not included. This is the Zins cable that uh, that he sent along for me to try with the set. And I got to tell you, that was a pretty cool combination. I will I will not get into that in this review, but uh, the Zins cables are pretty stellar. So, anywho. That's what you get in the box. It's basic, it's simple, it's elegant, and it's just fine, honestly. Uh, here is your case. The case is nice too. I don't remember what the clear case was like, but I remember the clear cable and I still have it. Uh, but the case is of, I would say, very nice quality. Certainly, definitely pocketable, durable, um, nice finishes on it. Yeah, it's, you know, this set is, a $220 uh, regular retail price um, and I feel like it's accessorized appropriately for that price point. No complaints on the case. Cable. Let's bring this guy into the picture here now. Uh, the cable is a 6N oxygen free copper silver plated super nice cable. This cable is uh, extraordinarily reminis reminiscent of the cables that you will receive with your CKLVX D41 or your Slevo SL41 Mark II. I'm not sure, maybe they're sourcing from the same cable company for these cables. I'm certainly not going to insinuate that Jazir and Meyer Audio are in any way, shape, or form uh, working together. I can't say that. I'm not going to speculate on it. All I can tell you is that the cables are freaking similar. So maybe they just use the same cable company to supply their stock cable. 
it comes available in, I think I even saw 2.5, but 4.4, 3.5, and possibly even 2.5 if you're still going that route. Um, so nice, uh, not modular, but choices. Choices are great. Love choices. So no complaints on the stock cable. Very nice quality there as well. Yeah, we're off to a banging start, right? It's uh, it's got everything going for it so far. Um, beautiful build quality, um, beautiful faceplate, medical grade resin. On the chunky side, um, you can see this is probably. I'm not going to say it's quite to the Truthier Nova level of chunkiness, but it's up there. Um, so those with smaller ears and smaller ear canals could potentially run into fit issues, um, but I think they're probably okay for most people, I do believe. They should be fine. Let's put it this way, if you can get like a Zero Red or a Truth Ear Nova in your ears, you can probably get the Jazir Butterfly in your ears without too much trouble. And let's go get some specs here. Yeah, those are nice looking. Do I have my light on? I never know if I do or not. Yeah, I did. Okay, two. Three. There we go. All right, so um, let's yeah try by Pink. That was the last track I listened to because, believe me, folks, I did. I tried as much and as hard as I possibly could. I tried. Uh, here we go. Okay, graph, which you may or may not have seen in the community section. Uh, here it is. I actually took it all the way down to 15 hertz because I wanted you to see that this sub bass um, does extend and it keeps going. If I went down to 10 you'd see it probably level off at that point but uh, we can't hear that low. You can feel it perhaps but you can't hear it. Um, there is no tuck in the mid bass. It is uh, got a nice amount of mid bass to it. Not Hoder level of mid bass, no, because not a lot does have that but enough to be satisfying. Very quick on the transients, very just smooth flowing beautiful looking graph and it, it it sounds just like it graphs it's really i mean it's really impressive honestly the like i said i have no issue with the sonics on this set whatsoever um okay so here are the specs a uh, single dd that is a 10 millimeter uh pu suspended uh carbon fiber or um yeah, carbon like composite, but it's PU suspended, like the Hakujai Anunnaki uh, had that PU suspended um, dynamic driver. Same idea here. Uh, they're saying it's new, newly de developed architecture between the dynamic driver and the balanced armatures. Okay. Um, there are knolls, but it doesn't say which. So it's a combination of knolls and custom BAs in there, taking care of the mids and the highs so yeah, mids and trouble that's going to be your focus uh, for the BAs as it should be and the base is being taken care of base to sub base by the dynamic driver impedance on this guy is really uh, quite high for IEMs I think could be wrong but at 46 ohms that's pretty high um, I do think that it probably adds to some of the technical ability of the set maybe the faster transients maybe the greater impact and and fast decay on the base, possibly. I don't know enough to know if that's a direct interaction or correlation or causation. I don't know, but it could be um, possible. 115 decibels on the sensitivity. I didn't really have a problem driving it off of any of my sources. I don't really think it's a great idea to run it off of an Apple dongle on your phone or your iPad, but it, listen. I'm not going to tell you not to do it. I'm just saying you might not get the best out of it that way. Fair? That's fair. All right, so there you go. Those are your specs. Um, I, you know, I'm going to get into this, and I'm going to get into it from, let's go from an objective point of view first, okay? Objectively, sonically speaking, they're phenomenal okay so there i'm just putting it right out there like the other people that have reviewed this except maybe one or two i think there was a dissenting opinion out there about them 
Um, I, I'm going with the majority. I I find them to be extraordinarily engaging, technically really good, um, immersive and impactful and engaging and detail driven and all of those lovely little catchwords we used when we were describing something that we really enjoy a and b respect for what it can do for what it brings to the table there is no problem with detail retrieval here there is no problem um with head stage like the stage is immersive it is wide and deep and high and long and uh, you know all of those things right so you know why yeah do, 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 do. uh yeah you, you get you get swept away right i think one of the people and i have been sort of chronicling this a little bit in the community section of my page there's um there was somebody who mentioned that the stage was actually too much for them and i could see that and i could see that just in the sense of if you're working on it in a more professional kind of situation i could see the stage on this being distracting speaking of distracting sorry about that mm. I got a bunch of chlorine in my mouth. I was just at the pool with the kiddo. So anyway. Um, but yeah, outside of that, and that's like... <laughs> it's kind of a funny complaint. Oh, it has too much head stage. It has too much sound stage. I get it, professionally speaking. Or if you're just trying to zone in a little bit more. Um, yeah, I could see that being potentially a complaint. Instrument separation is great. Layering is great. Imaging is great. As I said, head stage is immersive. Um, detail retrieval. Gosh, you know, it's one of the best sets I've ever heard. And that is including the recently reviewed Hodor. It's including the Performer 8. It's including the SL41 Mark II. It's up there. I mean, it's it's up there. It, it handled... Let's get... Let's go back to the graph here. It handled the test tracks like, I mean, like it was. It wasn't even trying. You know, it was there was there was nothing it was bad at. <clears throat> I have sets that I like more for metal. The Hodor being one of them, um, but it did fine. It didn't you know wilt uh, or wither at the sign of a distorted or guitar or low D. You know, like it, it was fine. Uh, double bass kicks were just super, super defined. Um, you could hear uh, Chris Adler galloping, you know, on a couple of the Lamb of God tracks, Ghost Walking, of course, being one, where he just gets that gallop going. And you can hear every single hit as he's galloping. I don't still don't know how people play double bass like that without extra pedals, but some people do. He's one of them. Pick that up, no problem, right? Technically, just a very, 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 very good set, you know? Very good um, and enjoyable. I mean, you know, that's the other part of the equation, right? Like, who gives a shit how good they are technically if they don't make you want to listen to them, if they're not engaging in that sound signature? You can see from the graph, that's a pretty damn engaging frequency response. I mean, it just is, you know, <laughs> I can't pick anything out that I don't like about it. Um, okay. There's a little peak there at 8k. I didn't hear it. I just heard a nicely extended trouble. You know, that's, that's kind of what I heard. Um, you know, I, I feel like that, um, mm, being a bit of a bass head, I guess I'm not a full-on bass head anymore, but being a bit of a bass head, I could have done with a little bit more mid-bass, but I don't know how that would have affected the rest of the frequency response and if it would have screwed up the balance that these have, you know? Um, yeah, imagine yourself, like, my friend's words, not mine, but being, like, you know, basically immersed in, in bass, but at the same time just in this huge sound stage like i <laughs> yeah it's a it's a damn fine set it really is and you know as much as i love the sl41 mark ii and i do um it was outpaced you know the the 
the butterfly outpaced it. I'm not saying it was a huge difference. It wasn't. You know, the, these guys are a formidable set. And they're a little bit less expensive, too. So, you know, it's easily the, the butterfly is the better of the two. Um, but I still give these guys, like, they're still in my top five or ten sets that I, that I personally have anyway um, so yeah it was a uh, it was sort of a close battle but sort of not the uh, the sleevo doesn't have the immersion um, but it does have a little bit more mid base so I'll give him I'll give him that right I'll give him that uh, I'm just I'm, I'm procrastinating guys I'm really sorry I, I, I'm gonna have to get to this now and this is the part where it's probably gonna draw some ire and some outrage from y'all but um, this is the best sounding set of IMs that I will never own I will not buy them and I know that the shit's coming it's gonna hit the fan and end up in my face and uh, you know but it is Hey, this this is honesty, right? And this is this is my experience. This doesn't mean it's going to be your experience or has been your experience or anybody else's for that matter. This is why I will never buy the Jazir 61T butterfly. Okay? Pressure. Freaking pressure. There is no relief or release of the pressure not for my ears I went through every single tip that I own every single one including some stock tips from other sets every aftermarket tip that I've purchased I put on these things and I could not alleviate that pressure and it drove me fucking crazy okay that's just that's how it is. That's how it was for me. Okay, I can't do it. I had this problem with the aviation, not to this extent, but I had this problem with the aviation. Finally, I think was able to cure that with the Tangzu um, Sankai ear tips. Right. Still, I'm never going to buy the aviation just because I don't want to have to be limited into how I can listen to them with what tips like you know like I don't really like the Tang Sun Chai ear tips that much they take too much bass away for me um tried them on this and they they sounded terrible thin lifeless terrible um you can see the Dinu SNS tips are on here it was about the closest thing that I could get um because I was able to sort of work the angle a little bit to alleviate some of that pressure build up and still have a decent seal so that I could like really tell how good they were. The Moondrop Spring uh, ear tips worked like that as well. And that was about it. That was about it. You can see I even like I was even swapping in the, the render ear tips. These did a decent job of um, alleviating some of that pressure. And I remember that the only reason I remember this is because I had to do it with the uh, C Audio Yume Ultra, which that was the other set that I had trouble with with the pressure I may never have given those a full like a fair shot because of that but I just didn't like how they were tuned either unlike the 61T which is tuned beautifully has high quality drivers amazing technical performance and engaging just lovely lovely sound signature to them that I can't listen to. And I think that makes it even worse. I think that makes it worse than a set that sounds terrible and has a bad fit. Okay? These don't have a bad fit. I just want to make sure that you understand that. And, uh, yeah, what is it? YMMV, right? Your mileage may vary. If you don't have problem with pressure buildup, or haven't, or don't even know what the hell I'm talking about, then you're probably going to be fine with these. But if you do know what I'm talking about and you've had issues with other sets where you can't get that pressure relief and it just starts to get very uncomfortable and after a while you just have to freaking take them out no matter how good they sound, this is 
that describes the butterfly for me, you know? It doesn't matter how much I like it. It doesn't matter how good the set is. Um, it, you know, it looks like there was a vent attempt, maybe? I don't know. There's nothing going all the way through, though. That I can tell you. Um, there's... Yeah, there's no relief. There's no relief, and there's no release. And because of those two things, it's been a rough couple of days, I'll tell you. Yeah, as rough as testing IEMs can be, I guess you could say. That's where they left me. I don't know what else to say. You know, I was like, I recorded a, 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 an earlier edition of this review, and I was like, you know what, I sound like the old dude, get off my lawn, you know. Like, I, it's not that. It's a physical issue that I can't overcome. No matter how much I like them. No matter how much I think they're awesome, I can't. I can't. And so I can't recommend them because I can only go on based off of my experience. Now, my friend who sent these to me had a wonderful experience with them. Only a tiny little bit and was able to get that pressure thing like straightened away, no problem whatsoever. Like, all good, no problem. That's not happening with me. So, I think I'm in the minority. I'm pretty sure I'm in the minority of people who are not recommending this set. But I'm only not recommending it because of the physical limitations, because of the physical discomfort that I experienced with them. That doesn't mean it's going to happen to you. I think it's worth a shot, honestly. They're so good that I think it's worth taking a chance on whether or not that is going to be an issue for you or not. So I'll leave it up to you, okay? I am going to link them, as always. I'm not going to use an affiliate link. I'm just going to link them to where you can get them on AliExpress, maybe the Hi-Fi Go store on AliExpress, whatever. So you can go straight to them if you're that stoked and excited. Well, at least wait till the next sales cycle. There's no, there's no need to pay $220 for these on AliExpress, like ever. So be a little patient. If you want to get them, go get them. I'm, I'm not going to say that you shouldn't because they sound phenomenal. I just can't listen to them. I can't keep them in my ears. And it sucks. And it makes me kind of angry. So I was trying not to be like super negative, but it's tough because it's like love, hate, love, hate, love, hate, love. Little Alice in Chains nod there. Um, yeah, if you're not afraid, go for it. Don't say I didn't warn you. All right, that's all I got for you today, folks. Sorry, I wish this was a cheerier review for these, but I'm just going to give you the straight shit no matter what. That was my experience. That's what I got to say. Go check out some other reviews, see what they have to say. All right. For now, love y'all. Nothing but peace to you. We'll see you.